Welcome again to my channel Organic and Hydroponic Urban Grow Pro. Friends, today in this video, we are going to talk about how to grow tomato into a hydroponic system. Tomato is one of the most easiest crop to grow into any of the hydroponic system. And it is most easy to grow it into the cocoa pit media. Normally, the soilless culture uses the cocoa pit media and grow the tomato and feeding the hydroponic nutrient. But tomato can be grown in many types of hydroponic system. Here, we are going to grow it into three types of system. One, of course, the grow bed system filled with the media of the cocoa pit. The second system we can use is media bucket system where we can use clay balls as a media or the pebbles as a media or vermiculite or pearlite and we can grow the tomato plant into it. Then third system, we are going to grow tomato into DWC system. Now, all the system can grow the tomato, but tomato is growing or responding based into either the DWC system or the media bucket system. So here, we are going to start this tomato into the DWC system. But before that, we need to prepare the plants. So tomato can be grown from the seed and you can prepare the tomato nursery with the use of cocoa pit with the tray and grow the plant. Once the plant reaches to a 5 to 6 leaf stage, we can transfer this plant to the actual growing space. If you are doing grow bed system or the grow back system, we can transfer this plant from this tray to grow bed and start the growing. Same way, if we are trying to grow it into the media bucket with the clay balls, then also we need to start the plants into cocoa pit only and then later on we can shift it to the media bucket where the clay balls are there. Initially one or two days we need to take care while the plant takes the new roots and get into the media balls. Otherwise the plant may get die. And when we are growing into the DWC system, we must transfer it into the net cups and then shift it to the system. Now DWC system as we know can be of many type. We can use NFT, DFT channels also. But tomato growing large root system and because of that the NFT or DFT may get clogged or our plant will not have that potential to grow big and give the good amount of fruit. So we are going to use a bucket filled with the water as a DWC system. It is also called a Kratky system. Now what we will do, we will fill the bucket with the water, add all the nutrient into the water and place the plant with the net cup into the buckets and plant will grow. Now we must supply air to have a good plant root growth. So we have make an arrangement also into this bucket for adding air to the air stone. In NFT and DFT, it is half filled with the water and half filled with the air. So there is no problem of putting any aeration. But here we require little aeration. Now as I said you, that nursery preparation is common for all these three methods. And here we have prepared this nursery of the tomato plant. Tomato can be grown very easily from the seed. And we have prepared this nursery with the seed in the cocoa pit media with this trees. Now you can see that plant has sprouted and grown well. They are almost 4 to 5 inch and now at this stage of 5 leaf stage. So this is the good time to shift them wherever we want to grow it finally. So here we are going to grow it into the net cups. So net cups we are going to take is like this. Is a hole in the bottom. So this will allow the tap root to go down into the water deep and our plant will grow big. There is another type of net cups like this which is close from the bottom. We cannot use this type of net cup for growing the tomato because tomato is growing roots at the tap root from the bottom and all the side root. So here only side root can grow and here you can grow both type of root. Now for transplanting it is very easy. Once the plant is reaching this stage we can remove this plant from the nursery and place it into this net cup. Now we are again going to fill this with the cocoa pit media only and for that we have moistened this cocoa pit a bit. So we simply need to take out the plant from the nursery carefully with the root ball 
and now you can see that this plant has developed you can see all these roots now we need to place this plant carefully into center of this cup then we can fill this coco peat all around and tap it so coco peat will go into all sides once it is reached to all sides we can press it little and make sure that plant is rigidly stuck to this coco peat and it will not uh, lay down so this activity we need to do carefully so this will prepare the plant for growing into this net cup we are using coco peat you can also use clay balls small size of clay balls for filling this but this method will find more effective now you can see the roots are coming out so we can clean the extra soil from all around now we can directly shift this either to the our buckets filled with the water or we can grow it further two or three days into such tray filling only half centimeter of water so that will make plant to absorb the water and all the side roots will come out and then we can shift it to the buckets when we shift it directly to the bucket we need to ensure that the bottom half centimeter layer should be wetted with the uh, bucket water so that will ensure the water supply to the plant and plant will grow new root and start into that bucket now further we are, i am going to demonstrate you how we can directly shift them to the buckets and grow directly we can also do with the tray but right now we are shifting them directly i am showing you just for the dam so friends now we have planted couple of plants into the net cup and now they are ready to shift to this dwc buckets now before shifting to this dwc bucket we need to do one important work we need to maintain the water level into this bucket such that that all the net cup will have a water at this bottom we are going to do it very simply with this so we have already filled some of water now we are going to use this net cup for the reference this is empty so we'll put this empty net cup and here we have spare water so what we'll do we'll take this water and fill this water till it touches to the bottom of the net cup so here we are filling it so this is 20 liter bucket and now it is just touching to the bottom of the cup you can see this so this is the good level of water to start the plant now we can shift the plant into this now for shifting this plant is very simple we are just going to put this plant into this system like this once it develop the roots it will start growing now about talking about the fertilizer so initially we can do without fertilizer for couple of days once the new root is started we can start adding on the fertilizer we can initially start with the 25% fertilizer after 15 days we can add another 25% and at the one month we can add another 50% nutrition and this plant will survive now if i show you the plant at the bottom is absorbing the water and now this plant will get the water and start putting the new roots and this is how simply you can start this plant into this dwc bucket now further after growing some growth we need to support this plant either with the trellis or some other means in future i will make a separate video for that how you can support this plant and get the good yield but right now we are just going to complete the sowing work of all tomato plant into this dwc bucket we are going to put around 15 or 16 plant into the dwc buckets rest we are going to put into the media bucket so you can also start your tomato growing into dwc bucket like this very simply so take the bucket have the cover have the net cups prepare your plants sow it into the dwc and this is how you can simply grow good tomato into dwc bucket happy growing